the marks of Satan. New text. <laughs> Megs, food, two whales. See you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast. Happy emoji? No emoji! <laughs> Jesus. Hey there. Dana. What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Oh, I hate parties. <laughs> And Max does too, I think. I remember right. <laughs> uh, I think I'm not gonna come. Nah. No, sorry. It's just not my thing. You came to Blackwell to discover yourself, not hide in your dorm. I won't discover myself avoiding projectile vomit from bro dudes. Thanks anyway. Juliet! I totally did not see you there. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max! Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? That's not cool at all. That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touché! Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. Uh, what about Victoria? What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. I think I did good. Yay. Can talk to her more? I'm not watching the video, Max. Okay. Ooh, stuff. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Stuff. More stuff. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Ugh, hope they don't get busted. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. All right, let's leave. <laughs> I I said I wouldn't look at stuff so often anymore, so I went. Let's leave. Ooh. Oh, that's adorable. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Ah, there's Samuel, up early, already communing with the critters. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Talk to me about the snow. So. What did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. Animals! That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? I saw a doe. I was a doe. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. 
Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. <laughs> I get why Max would say that he is... Um, he's weird. But I think for now, it's really cute kind of weird. I don't want to talk to you, kind of, but I... I'm gonna. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. Let's not fight. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Maybe talk about Victoria? Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Is she? I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Ah, No, I want to talk to her about Kate. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Skip. I bought you. Oh! Oh! I got it right. I forgot that that happened. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What, what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. Awesome! Cool. I don't think talking to her about Kate's video would have... Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, would have done too much good. Oh well. This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student in Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a final polite warning. Great! How can you get a text message from a private number? More stuff. Page 25. Max is seriously creeped out by the messed up photos in her room and suspects Nathan. Plus, there's this creepy private number text. To top it off, Max is being a photo nerd about Kate being visibly in a really bad mental state. Weirdo. Page 26. More retelling of what happened to Kate at that fateful party. Max told her to go tell the police but got scared when Kate wanted her as a backup. Damn it. Right, the surveillance was a thing. I almost forgot. Max, get over here. It would probably have been better to have a surveillance system now because everyone would see what Nathan... Well, on the other hand, I don't see Nathan doing all this shit himself. I think he would use a lackey. God knows Max, he has another one. check it out. Shut up, I'm talking. God knows he has another one. All right, now I'm talking to you. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Uh, uh, thank you. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? It's Chloe. An old friend. Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I... Yeah. I thought I would like to tell him 
because he seems like a nice enough guy, but I'm afraid if I do tell him and he knows, he's he's gonna get shit too. On the other hand, if I tell him what's happened and something happened to me, he can, well, he knows who was after me, I guess. But Chloe knows too. I think I'm gonna trust him for now. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Ugh, I don't like the movies. <laughs> No, I don't think I can concentrate on going out to the movies. I just feel like escaping. Fine. Be a damn dirty human. I'll go ape myself. You go ape yourself. Have fun. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. dream of it I'm gonna be a millionaire hope nobody steals my lottery talk ticket. about going back in time the diner looks exactly the same his voice is awesome no time for chit chat I'm a millionaire yep got my lottery ticket right here waiting for the bus so I can cash it in good luck to you then hi you look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. Yeah, did you not see the bus? I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Warm as it is. 
Running late, grab a booth at the diner. Mom will feed you. Somebody better. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. Jesus Christ, you're writing so much. Oh, <laughs> we already read that. Page 27. More puns about telling Warren everything. Also remember how we turned him down when he asked us out to the movies? Because that happened. Speaking of music, the music in this game is awesome. I love it so much. Hello, Mr. Fisherman. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed? Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. Did you have... Your own boat? You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Prescott family. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay. If that tells you much. Do you know them? Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. But I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. The drawers. Hmm. RJ McReady. He looks like a photo of the classic Arcadia Bay crusty fisherman. And they pulled out all the stuffs with a fisherman too. I Neptune's beard. Arr. He almost sounds like a pirate. Isn't that the RV that stood in the parking lot yesterday? There's that dirty RV yeah. from the other day. Oh, stop that. Stop. No barking. I don't think I should get close, but it's a doggy. He looks aggressive. Ah. I probably shouldn't. You don't pet a dog without their uh the owner's uh consent, I guess. Because you don't know the dog. Who are you? I wonder if they explained that snow. Snow? Well, that's a good start to the story. Weather Service baffled by snow. In a rare admission, the National Weather Service has yet come up with a concl uh, conclusive reason for the unusual snowflake. <laughs> I can't read today. I'm sorry. Well, that sure did not explain anything. Hello. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds. That snow was odd. The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. Rachel Amber. You mean Rachel Amber? I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Nice talking to you. Hello. Poor woman. I hope it's a shelter for her. 
Ah, uh, not many homeless youth shelters. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. Tell me about Prescott's. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. Well, I probably should have told Kate to wait. I knew I did it bad. But what do you meant to do? How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What happened? What happened to you? What didn't happen to me? Sometimes you start out in life turned around the wrong way. I married dumb, made mistakes, got cheated out of my savings, lost my home, and now I hang out here. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. I get that. Tell me about Joyce. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. He sure is a prick. <laughs> Tell me about David. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I have to go now. Goodbye. Ah, I was hoping I could talk to her about Chloe. Oh well. Missed that one. Cool beans. I got a photo. Doggy. Awesome. <laughs> so, the moral of this story is... I don't want oh, to go that way. That's the moral of the story. Do not go that way. <laughs> uh, don't pet dogs. But... Um, take photos of dogs. That's also good. That sign reminds me of so many times I ate here with Chloe and my family. When we were happy. Aw. I was hoping I could take a photo. But... No, I guess I can't. Oh, I do! Haha! -ha. Achievements, achievements! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna gonna. <laughs> Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware oh, makes me feel 13 again. Can I actually talk to everyone in here? Oh jeez. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Yeah. Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Are they trying to make her look Canadian or sound Canadian? Because it's not working. I always wonder what people think about when I eat alone. All sorts of things. And food. A gooba stand. 
Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. A lot of leaflets, a poster. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. Yeah. Ugh, Kid Marsh. Thank you, redneck poet. Sweet. <laughs> All the photos I missed in the last episode, I'm taking right now. <laughs> Great. Awesome. Gross. Yeah. Very. Also. That graffiti has been here forever. Gross. Goodness gravy. Hello, dude. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer. So spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Okay. That officer looks nicer than wannabe cop David Madsen. He's left-handed. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Mm, just hungry. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? Maybe he does know David. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He has a reputation. He's not friends with him, so... He kinda has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. <laughs> that kinda sounded like, oh, we're glad he's a security guard, so we don't have to uh, put up with him because he's an ass. But, uh, oh well, that, that might just be me. <laughs> so, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. <laughs> yeah, me. Hi, I have a pot dealer. Who told you? Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scan. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I'd just tell the loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching me. Is she a friend of yours? She is. I know her. Then you know she's a handful. She, she sure can be. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joyce so much stress. Talk about Joyce. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. <laughs> I'm... I know it's bad, but he telling me I should stay away from there kind of makes me want to go there. <laughs> yeah. All right. Justin. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am. I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You cracked me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. 
See you later, Max. Good talk, bro. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I just told your friend <laughs> about it. Never mind. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Yeah, nobody except Nathan. Nope, not yet. More people to speak to. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over now. You do that. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Everything is nice. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Joyce is cool. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. <laughs> this is so great. Like... <laughs> Max just walking around the diner, talking to strange people. <laughs> I don't know. Drool. Want everything. Me too, but this time I've been smart and I ate before I recorded so I don't stop at everything and go, oh god, I'm so hungry. Like, no. I am smart sometimes. That's funny. Our family never went well watching. Looks fun. S sit down. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man, no matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. Very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. I don't know if she understands, <clears throat> but she has changed. She's got a lot more angry from what I saw. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. I did. And I am sorry. 
I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Let's ask her about Kate. I don't know if she knows too much about it, but let us, let's ask her. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I'll stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Ooh, I want a waffle. I mean, omelette is cool too. But I want a waffle. Yeah. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto? Yeah. One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock high. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. Show me the menu. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Eggs and bacon, apple sausage, omelets, what? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> it looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. Ah, right now. Order ready. <laughs> This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Incoming! I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh God, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl, a woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow, right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Impress. 